All right, Libra, welcome to your weekly horoscope for February 2nd through the 8th, Monday through Sunday. My name is Athen. All right, so we've got an emphasis this week on your 10th house of work, career, public things, anything you're doing on a public level. We've got the full moon taking place there on Tuesday and a lot of the energy sort of uh, involving it. So let's start off by looking at, at Monday at the beginning of the week. We got the sun sextiling up to Uranus. So you guys have had the sun in your fourth house, also Mercury retrograde here. So definitely seeing how you can enjoy home family, you know, home and family, the uh, things you're sentimentally connected to, your emotions. Going deep with those too and enjoying that passion and that vibrant energy when you're connecting to these things. Now Mercury retrograde is uh, going on here, so there is this reflective sort of period. Uh, in regards to uh, home and family and these types of matters, but um, learning from the process. And I think enjoying it is where a lot of this uh, energy is going to start from the beginning of the week because the sun from there is sextiling up to Uranus, which, as you probably know, is part of this whole Uranus-Pluto square energy, which is the overall emblem of this time right now all the way through March, <clears throat> well, through April, really. So anyways, definitely shifts happening, and it's involving shifts in regards to your sense of self-improvement with Uranus in your sixth house, changes with your thoughts and communications with Pluto in your third, and you guys are going towards a spiritual direction with the North Node in the twelfth house. That's the T-square that's been involved and is definitely involved right now, but with a positive aspect from the Sun at the beginning of the week, definitely a good insight when you're getting in touch with home family, things that are sentimentally connected to, these types of things. Um, you might know what that is from earlier in the last week or in the weekend, but um, enjoy those aspects of life, definitely, Monday and Tuesday. Now, on Tuesday, we do have the full moon, like I said, and that's in your 10th house. It's a very positive full moon. It's involving Jupiter, the planet of expansion. He is retrograde. So you guys have had a lot of opportunities with work, career, anything public-related, um, he's retrograde, so you may not be seeing that right now, and that's just the nature of it. The opportunities are there, <clears throat> but whenever he's retrograde, it's a much more internal and sort of external sort of process. But in either case, the full moon here is definitely illuminating this and creating perhaps abundance and uh, uh, cultivation of this part of your life since the past six months, if you've been putting in a lot of work or energy towards this part of your life. So it just depends. If you've been putting in that energy, it definitely can be a time of culmination. And in general, it's just about seeing it very clearly and understanding a lot in terms of it. What's important to you? What are your values? These are the things Jupiter's been showing you there too. But it could be opportunities as well, new opportunities, things shifting, things changing with the work, career, public sort of level. And like I said, it's got a positive aspect, a trine up to the Uranus-Pluto configuration. So definitely a positive uh, there. Now on Thursday, we've got Mercury sextiling up to Saturn. Like I said, Mercury's been retrograde in your fourth house, so continue to treat this week uh, your home and family as a learning process. Whatever it is that you're doing, they're changing locations, uh, uh, you know, connecting to family, getting more involved with family, whatever it is uh, for you. Uh, this definitely is the week to continue to treat it as this learning process, continue to put energy into it. And I think definitely around Thursday, when Mercury sextiles up to Saturn in particular, you can have some good awareness of it. Saturn, Saturn sextiling up to Mercury, Mercury is always about awareness and understanding, but Saturn's been in your second house. So you guys have been definitely taking this sort of stern disciplined approach to your finances hopefully your sense of self-worth taking that seriously your sense of value all of these things that are second house with saturn now you want to put in that discipline and hard work there and i think uh definitely around thursday you might actually find it quite fun or at the very least very uh experiential you can learn a lot through that process with uh with mercury but it could be exciting Friday, we've got uh, the sun opposite Jupiter, so continuing with this whole full moon energy with uh, the sun now going exact opposite Jupiter. Definitely, like I said, these opportunities with both the work, uh, you know, public sort of life and the domestic side of life with the sun there. So you want to balance these two elements. That's all this is signifying. It's definitely having optimism and positivity about these two areas of your life. You just want to make sure you're not going to one extreme over the other, not putting too much emphasis on work or maybe you're neglecting home or vice versa. But if you can bring these two together, balance them in your life, it could be definitely a great week in general for those things, especially around Friday. Now on Saturday and Sunday, we've got Venus sextiling up to Pluto. So definitely for all of us, a deepening of our relationships 
And for you, it's a deepening of your self-expression because Venus has been transiting your fifth house. So you guys are hopefully enjoying the creative elements of life, the self-expression, perhaps the romance, these types of things. And a positive aspect from Pluto means to continue, if you continue to put energy into it, or in this sense, not really energy at all, it's just enjoying these things. Essentially, anything that puts a smile on your face or that you're really passionate about, Saturday and Sunday, you can find it very enjoyable with this positive energy with Pluto. But these sex dials, these positive energies, they're nothing unless we actually do something about them. We want to we want to put in that energy in this sense. Just enjoy yourself over the weekend, and especially in regards to anything creative, self-expression, romantic, etc. And overall, just with your relationships in general. <clears throat> And express yourself too. That's the big emphasis there. Now on Sunday we've got Venus conjuncting over Chiron, which is uh, sort of the uh, the topping off of the week. You guys have definitely been healing your sense of self-expression, your creativity, and these types of things. So Venus going over here is definitely feeling it. Uh, your relationships, your connection to your self-expression, all of these things, feeling quite rejuvenated uh, in that process towards Sunday. All right, Libra, well, I hope you guys have a great week. I want to thank you very much for all of your support. If you'd like a personal reading, please get in touch, and I'll talk to you next time. Take care.